guess what yes again the saturday wrap this time for the last saturday in july 2023 saturday the 29th yeah mm. lot to be said about july this year especially from the gardening perspective anyway uh, if you haven't seen this before standard introduction it's me rabbiting on about well the weather and politics and tech and things and then going off subject drastically however it is transcribed you know ai and all that sort of thing have i got itchy nose yeah i have so looking back on the week ending saturday the 29th of july 2023 yeah so apparently the hottest july since records began well not sure definitely not sure it's more like february in the week it went down to eight degrees celsius which for high summer was distinctly chilly it has rained heavily it has drizzled it has blown quite a lot it is definitely not summer and apparently this is going on well into august as well which i always consider to be extremely high summer it seems like june was our high summer and where's this 40 degrees that we were promised you know things i'm wearing my smock more in the summer than ever before because hammering down with rain and blowing a lot uh, but what can you do anyway on to the app of the week microsoft edge microsoft edge for windows i can't remember if it was after an update but at least two of the sites i go to the body text is tiny i've tried changing all the settings it makes no difference not affected on the mac not affected on uh, ios or ipad os i really 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 don't want to scrub off everything out and start again and so far internet and bing searches bring back nothing my site my site has been better to be perfectly honest and i don't want the body text the headlines and all the other stuff are fine but the body text is itty bitty if you know anything about this let me know just remember windows 64 bit running under windows 10 you know things hmm um the thing of the week i'm gonna come on to it later but enjoy yourself while you can don't put off those things that make you happy and then regret it um i feel lucky because well i like beanoing and i beano all the time and yeah and places and food and enjoying myself and let's be honest indulging myself you need to do it because it doesn't last and sometimes it can be taken away from you before you're ready anyway um so last friday because yeah this was recorded last friday as well the foundation part two series two watch it definitely watch it and just before i started watching it i had a whatsapp phone call uh, a close colleague who is well he's under chemo at the moment uh, a message to say that all his family had gathered around him yeah it's like that make the most of it anyway saturday was going to make the most of it it hammered down all day it's difficult to eat a tray of chips outside when it's hammering down with rain um i was in philly and i ended up in brew monster and that is really good i was talking to the uh, barmaid i don't know if you'd love to say barmaid i was talking about yeah uh, for all mankind and i said well the russians got to the moon first and she said did they not that she was unintelligent it's just a sign of how long ago it was 1969 i was six and how times move on 
Well, there you go. Whatever, etc. Um, Sunday. Sunday was drier. Although this Sunday isn't looking dry at all. And I'm supposed to do a garden video. Um, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little bit late. Anyway, watching the uh, tenth and final episode of Silo, and I thought, yeah, I can see where this going. I can see how series one ends. I didn't have a clue. Not a clue. Yeah, um, so... Get a free trial for Apple TV Plus for All Mankind, The Foundation, Invasion. I have mentioned that one for a long time. And The Silo. Really, really good stuff. And if you like your Second World War, Greyhound, the movie. Tom Hanks. There you go. Monday. Monday, Twitter became X. Or X.com. Um, I was listening to Tom Merritt today on the Daily Text News show show editor's desk he was talking about it he is very insightful um and i'm happy to pay my subs through patreon for his insight he reckons and i think he could be right elon doesn't really care about twitter because he doesn't really care about microblogging all he cares is about is creating a mega site hence x.com hence the nonsense that he's coming up with as regards microblogging. It's a valid thing. I did have an invite to T2 because um, I asked for it. I didn't bother, to be perfectly honest. I have enough microblogging services, including micro.blog. Tuesday, woke up. All my Apple kit needed updated. Even the old stuff on iOS 15.7? 7.1 whatever uh security patches if you haven't updated yet do it quickly there's zero days around which means actively exploited errors please do it um what else have we got um oh yeah i mentioned covid cases and how covid didn't seem to be there and yeah now i know of three covid cases not serious but enough to pop people out Make them very tired, lethargic, and well. So it is still there, as I did say, but it is not what it used to be. Yeah, and I don't hear about immunization anymore. I really don't, which is interesting. But there you go. I am uh, Wednesday night, uh, Tuesday into Wednesday night. Uh, Eight degrees Celsius, drizzle, rain, dark, whatever. And also on Wednesday, my friend, he died. To be honest, it was a merciful release. I'm going to miss him. It's nice to have friends. Nice to have people you can talk to. Nice to have people with different opinions. That's good. Uh, anyway, um, Thursday in work. The Great Laminating Disaster of 2023. Which was caused by a drunk going to sleep in the car park and then being escorted away by the police. Sometimes being in the office is really good. And Friday, uh, there was an all-team call. Uh, I didn't really know the guy that well, but his profile picture was him with a stein with a dark beer in it, so a dunkel. Um, and he was younger than me, and he's gone. Yeah, so it's been a week. It really has been a week. And to finish it off, some new Anchor cables. You can't beat Anchor, and you can't beat the cables. And the camera doing this is an Anchor camera. Yeah, so there is some tech in it, after all. Um, What else? Uh, Newport tomorrow. In the rain, perhaps. Anyway, um, I'd appreciate your comments. Bye-bye. Um, yeah, bye-bye.